Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here with another in my series of videos where we look at antique photographs. This particular photo came in a tacky modern frame that I didn't want, so I decided to remove it to get a better look at the print itself. When I began disassembling the frame, I found a surprise. Most of the photographs I look at are mysteries, but the lipstick presented a whole new set of questions that added to the mystery of this one. I don't know anything about this photograph, the people in it, or where, or even when it was taken, although I'm guessing late 1940s or probably 1950s. Unfortunately, whoever made the bad decision to put this into this frame also decided to use cellophane tape. Never ever use cellophane tape on photographs. It's not archival. I removed all the tape except for this little piece which was trying to pull up some of the lipstick. I love finding handwriting on the back of old photos because it really makes a personal connection to someone from the past, but seeing the impression of a woman's lips on here makes it seem even more personal and intimate. How long has that lipstick been there? Was the kiss for someone shown in the photo? Was it one of these eager young gents maybe? And was the kiss maybe made by one of these ladies? Let's note a few details in the image, like these two bare light bulbs overhead. On the countertop, there's a jar of sugar, can of pet brand condensed milk, and a box of toothpicks. Up high there's a cookie jar, but it looks like it may have cans of snuff tobacco, or maybe it's peppermint patty kind of thing, I can't tell. Over here on the counter, some kind of a game. On one side it says, try your skill, and on the other side it gives ratings for your results. There's a cartoon of a football player in an old-fashioned uniform. He's got a leather helmet like they wore in the 20s and 30s, but this photo was certainly later than that. This photo harkens back to the era when teenagers hung out at soda fountains. And by the way, I also love the warm tone of this photo paper. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.